Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. And welcome to Gangalize Treasures. My name's Renee. And my, I always say my family and I, but lately it's been just me. Uh, we are on the hunt, or sometimes we call it thrifting adventures. Today, I have gone to a different part of St. Louis, and there is a little Goodwill store that I'm going to go check out. I'm hoping that it has more than clothes like the one last week. That was really disappointing. But the second one was better. It did have hard goods. And I'm still on the mission to find things that are vintage and antique, mid-century modern. But the goal is still to find things that I can buy at a very reasonable or cheap price and be able to sell them and make some money and we struck out last week at the two goodwills that we went to which was disappointing and i'm probably still a little disappointed but you don't give up you just keep trying and i was going to go to some flea markets but the flea markets are all just like on the weekend or they don't open till friday so we're gonna head in and see if we can find some treasure. And I always say I'll see you in a blink of an eye, but I'm really not gonna see you. It's just the next section of the video will come up in a blink of an eye. When I first walked in, the shoes were up front, which was something different. So I thought I'd go ahead and look. And these caught my eye. At first I thought they were Vans, but they're actually Nike slip-ons. Um, I did look them up. There are none listed and none sold, so they went back on the shelf. And I did have Wi-Fi at the front of the store, and then I decided to go back to Hard Goods. And this is that um, home aisle, paper goods aisle. And a lot of times I go through there just because you never know what you'll find. And the blue tags are 75% off. I did talk to the nice young lady at the checkout and um, this Goodwill store and none of the other Goodwill stores in Missouri that I've been to take the Goodwill rewards card like the ones in Indiana do. So I'm just kind of checking things out, seeing what's on the shelves. I did get the pine cones. I'm not sure if they're going to go to Crystal Clear Downloads. Or if we're going to use them and make fire starters. This was really cute. It was a new puppy kit. Um, has a cute little puppy in it. But that's all it has in it. It's supposed to be a whole kit. So with not everything being there. I thought this was adorable little set. But the creamer is not there. And there was only one cup and one saucer. It looked quite contemporary. There's no maker's mark. There's no wear on the bottom. So it sat on the shelf. These looked very mid-century modern to me. And when I got out my phone to look them up, I thought, I'll just take a picture of them, see what Google says, see what eBay says. I didn't have internet. That's a cute little cup. Doesn't matter where you walk. It's who you're walking with. Or who's walking you. Who's walking with you. And usually it's the puppers. Coffee cups and teacups used to be a big thing. They used to sell very easily. You could pick up the ones that you thought were cute. Now, as things have changed, it needs to be... This one is kind of a vintage cup, and I'm buying it to see if maybe Romanda wants it. She has another one like this from my dad that she really likes. But anyway, back to cups. It needs to be a pottery cup. It needs to have... Um, some show that is really popular, Friends or Star Wars, maybe even if it had a cat or a dog on it, it might be able to sell, but coffee cups just aren't selling like they used to. Again, that's just one of the changes. These look like they were probably vintage, and they probably go to a whole set. And I tried to look them up, and I didn't have internet. So we're going to go on down the aisle, 
and go around. And a lot of times I had to go around because there were so many people here. that I was trying to find an aisle that I could be by myself in. And that is my jacket. I remember I was talking to a lady and forgot to turn the camera off. Anyway, then I checked out that candle holder. It was contemporary. Then I checked out this bowl. And I was probably going to buy this bowl. But it's got a great big huge chip in it. It goes all the way through. Not even hand blown, but a very nice, interesting piece of glass. A cactus. There's another piece of glass. It's got fishies in it. The fishies don't exactly make it more appealing. And if you look really close, back here where you see the little holes right there, this is flash painted. It's actually a clear glass, and it's almost like they throw the paint on it. It's called flash. This was really cute for a little makeup desk for somebody small, but it's been water damaged, and it's not going in my basket. Neither is the blue, or neither is the purple glass bowl. Uh, baskets, and the reason the lady and I were talking was because of the baskets. She picked up one of those baskets, and it was $10. It was like $10 for a basket. It's not even a longer burger basket. These are hat boxes, which some people use in decorating. They're nice. You can keep stuff in them. $7.37, $7.73 for a hat box. It's probably mid-century modern. Um, but I'm in the back of the store, and I do not have any internet. This wooden bowl is really nice, but the back of it has been... In the dishwasher they've put it in the dishwasher and it's just it's totaled sometimes y'all if you have stuff that's totaled just throw it away candle holders toilet paper holders an outdoor light which is really nice i've sold lights before and um if i'd had internet and been able to look it up that might have gone in the cart this was a cute little cat picture Good kitty, good kitty, good kitty, bad kitty. And there's a corbel. Two sets of corbels. Some shelves. A nice spring picture, but for me, it's too much matting, and I don't sell much art. And I didn't see a signature, so it was probably just a print, although it could have been under the matting. If that's a famous painter, let me know. I filmed this on Monday, and you'll be seeing it on Wednesday. I'm going to check out the plush, and look who I found. I found Tigger. It's pretty clean. There's a Walt Disney Tigger. The one with the pink nose. He stands up. Look at that turtle. Mm, they wanted $10 for... The tigger and they wanted ten dollars for the turtle and i think the turtle there are none listed and none sold and tigger sells for like fifteen dollars there's a curd this was interesting you could have a little party dip tray in plastic i have enough of my mom's cut glass ones that hors d'oeuvre trays and there's a little crock pot down there um, two crock pots. I thought there was a bread maker too, but there's a scale. I think there's a salad spinner. This is actually a pizza cutter. That ladle. I probably should have taken that ladle back to bed and breakfast. I made lasagna soup and I have to use a measuring cup to get it out. Lots of plastic. Um... I was not impressed by the amount of stuff that they had in the hard goods section. But you always look because you never know. I could go back to the same Goodwill and load my cart with stuff. I had also already um, looked at clothes. I'd gone through several sections. There was no name brand clothes at this Goodwill. A 
an electric salad spinner. Now this looks, I know this is vintage. I know this is vintage. My parents have one. Maybe not this exact size or this exact name, but they wanted $16.77 or $16.99 for it. And without internet, I can't, I'm, maybe I should have just bought that one. If I should have just bought that one, let me know. There's a scale, more raw iron, a magazine rack. There's that corbel again. I wanted to go back and look at it. It is just beat up and there's only one. And then the other shelf fell off the shelf. They're pretty beat up too. And these have blue tags on them, which means they're 75% off. You put a little candle in there and they would hang from the ceiling. And so I'm going to put those in my cart. And I'm going to put those back on the shelves because I don't have any way to look them up. <sighs> look under things. That is probably stainless steel, if not sterling. It didn't look like it had any oxidation on it at all. And this is not only a butterfly, but it holds candles too. That's going in my cart, and it's probably going to go in my new sunroom. So I am so excited to announce that we are under contract for a house, and the appraisal has been done. The mortgage has been accepted through underwriting, and the inspector is tomorrow. They have lots of candle holders here. If you need candle holders, this is the place to come. A novelty garden lights, and they're cactus. If they'd been something else, if they'd been flowers, maybe I would have gotten them. But there's another one. The width has leaves that you could put candles on, but I'm not going to get that one. It's kind of big. I wouldn't know where I put it. And I don't even really know where I'm going to put the butterfly. But butterflies fit in more with my decor than great big, huge silver leafy things. And I can't reach what I'm looking for. So I want to see these other candle holders because they have crystals hanging from them. And I'm trying not to crawl on the floor because this is the bottom shelf. So I'm all squatted down and I'm reaching. And okay, that's what it looks like. It has hooks on the bottom. It has, and they don't have all their crystals. So they're kind of broken. It's not, they don't even have the prices that you could buy it at Goodwill and sell it for double the price at a garage sale. Two more of these. These would go on the wall and hold candles. I would put um, LED candles in them. This was a pepper grinder, which would have been really cool if it had the salt grinder to go with it. Cast iron skillet. And nice heavy weight. Hmm. And these two are brand new. And they're a lodge. You make your own little skillet meals in there. But the prices are just... It's a beautiful mid-century modern ice bucket, but there's no lid. The prices are just not the prices that I need as a reseller to be able to flip something. If I buy Tigger at $9.99 and sell it for $15, I lose money. If I buy Tigger at $10.99 and sell him for $20, I might make $5. These are a little bit older. I don't know if they're quite vintage, but from the style, I can tell they're probably close to being vintage, but they're not a popular plate. There are blue ones. I probably should turn that over to see if those blue ones were Fiesta, but they just didn't have the right look to them. These are from Germany. Probably very well made. This is from Italy. Yes, I knew it. They were really cute. There were two of them, and they were, oh, maybe there's three of them, but, um, No, maybe there's two. There's only two of them. 
but the price was just too high to be able to buy and flip. This is pretty. I wonder if it's Italy too. Nope, just made in China. Quite contemporary. Okay, I'm going to get myself up off the floor. So when you get to my age, when you get down on the floor, a beautiful peach luster saucer, but no cup. Uh, when you're <laughs> my age and you get down on the floor, you have to figure out how to get up off the floor. I like those because they were different colors. Each one was a different color. But no maker's mark. No maker's mark. Those would be really pretty for uh, breakfast plates. Brighten things up in the morning. This is vintage, if not antique. These are made in Germany. But there wasn't enough there to make a set. I'm going to go through the artwork. This is just mass produced art. I did find a little um, sign that said welcome spring that I'm gonna get to put on our new front door. Of course, when I was here looking at all the artwork, um, I did not know yet that the appraisal had come in and that we were everything was a go for the house. That's really cute, but it's not quite the kind of um, pictures I want for my coffee area. And I'm looking through the art, even though I know I've said before in other videos, I don't know very much about art, but let's just take in that, that picture. And her name has totally flipped out of my mind. She was in My Fair Lady. And this is hand painted. Ooh, oh, look. What is it? An alien? Because the trees are probably hand painted too. And those are pretty flowers. I don't know why my camera isn't pointed more down. I do apologize for my home, is not a place, it's a feeling. It definitely is. This is absolutely adorable. They want $2.79 for it. Now this they could have put $9.99 on. I probably would have bought it anyway. That Goodwill at least had hard goods and clothes. I checked multiple sections of the clothes. Didn't find anything like a Patagonia or a Columbia. And their prices were just like the prices at the last Goodwill. So, uh, there wasn't anything in hard goods that I picked up for the shop. I think, I think everything that I got, um, I got for the new house. Just as long as appraisals and inspections go okay. Um, so I don't know if I'll do a haul. There might be one thing in there that I got for the shop to sell. The biggest problem was even some of the things as you, as I said in the video, um, I didn't have internet. So I couldn't look up those cute cups. Um, I looked up the shoes when I was at the front of the store. And then when I was two hours away, I couldn't look up anything. And you know, two cups wouldn't have been that big a deal to take a chance on. But then again, there could be 100,000 of them already listed. I figured they were vintage, like I said. So I I have to go home. I have papers I have to sign. And um, I'm going to go through my stuff and figure out whether I'm going to do a haul or not. If you want to see the stuff that I got for the new house and the stuff that I got for me, and you know the coffee cup I got for Amanda, um, there were a couple things I picked up after I turned the camera off to that I got for the new house. Um, let me know in the comments. Also, thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. We do enjoy reading your comments. We appreciate each and every one of you. Every like and every comment and every subscription helps. We are right in the mid 90s. We are almost at 100. 
And as you know, we're gonna drop some merch at 100 and it's thrilling to be so close. And Roman and I still have to um, pick out the font that we want for our first merch. Probably since it's spring, it'll probably be t-shirts and uh, Romanda wants shopping bags. But as always, remember, you're blessed to be a blessing. So go out and make today a great day.